You know my son, Henry? Oh, how do you do? I've seen you somewhere before. I don't know. Oh, it doesn't matter. You better sit down. Lady Boxington? Where the devil can they be? Uh, Lord Boxington. Ah! Pickering, you're just in time for tea. Thank you, Mrs. Higgins. May I introduce Miss Eliza Doolittle? My dear Miss Doolittle. How kind of you to let me come. Delighted, my dear. Lady Boxington. How do you do? How do you do? Lord Boxington. How do you do? How do you do? Mrs. Ainsford Hill, Miss Doolittle. How do you do? How do you do? And Freddie Ainsford Hill. How do you do? How do you do? Miss Doolittle. Good afternoon, Professor Higgins. The first race was very exciting, Miss Doolittle. I'm so sorry that you missed it. Will it rain, do you think? The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. But in Hartford, Hereford, and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly ever happen. <laughs> How awfully funny. <laughs> what is wrong with that young man? I bet I got it right. Smashing. Hasn't it suddenly turned chilly? I do hope we won't have any unseasonable cold spells. They bring on so much influenza, and the whole of our family is susceptible to it. My aunt died of influenza, so they said. But it's my belief they done the old woman in. Done her in? Yes, Lord love you. Why should she die of influenza when she come through diphtheria right enough the year before? Fairly blue with it she was. They all thought she was dead. But my father, he kept ladling gin down her throat. Oh. Then she come to so sudden, she bit the bowl off the spoon. <laughs> Dear me. Now what call would a woman with that strength in her have to die of influenza? And what become of her new straw hat that should have come to me? Somebody pinched it. And what I say is, them as pinched it, Done her in. Uh, done her in? Uh, done her in, did you say? <laughs> Whatever does it mean? <laughs> oh, well, that's the new small talk. Uh, to do somebody in means to kill them. But you surely don't believe your aunt was killed. Do I not? Them she lived with would have killed her for a hat pin, let alone a hat. But it can't have been right for your father to pour spirits down her throat like that. It might have killed her. Not her. Gin was mother's milk to her. Besides, he poured so much down his own throat, he knew the good of it. Do you mean that he drank? Drank? My word, something chronic. <laughs> yeah. What are you sniggering at? It's the new small talk. <laughs> you do it so awfully well. Well, if I was doing it proper, what was you sniggering at? Have I said anything I oughtn't? Oh, no. uh, not at all, my dear. Well, that's a mercy, anyhow. I don't know whether there's enough time before the next race to place a bet, but come, my dear. I don't suppose so. I have a bet on number seven. I should be so happy if you would take it. You'll enjoy the race ever so much more. That's very kind of you. His name is Dover. Come along, my dear, come along. Here they are again, lining up to run. Now they're holding steady, they are ready for it. Look, it has been done. Come on, come on. 
Don't expect to take her to the embassy ball. Don't you think she's ready for it? Dear Henry, she's ready for a canal barge. Well, her language may need a little refining, but... Uh... Oh, really, Henry, if you cannot see how impossible this whole project is, then you must be absolutely potty about her. I advise you to give it up now and not put yourself and this poor girl through any more. Give it up? Why, it's the most fascinating venture I've ever undertaken. Pickering and I are at it from morning till night. It fills our whole lives. Teaching Eliza, talking to Eliza, listening to Eliza, dressing Eliza. What? You're a pretty pair of babies playing with your live doll. Ah, here's the car. Ah. Good evening, sir. Ah, uh, dinner ready? I'm famished. Immediately, sir. Mm. Good evening, Professor Higgins. When she mentioned how her aunt bit off the spoon, she completely done me in. And my heart went on a journey to the moon when she told about her father and the gin. And I never saw a more enchanting farce than the moment when she shouted, Move your bloomin'. Yes, sir. Uh, is, is Miss Doolittle in? Whom shall I say is calling? Freddy Einsford Hill. Oh, if she, if she doesn't remember who I am, tell her I'm the chap who was sniggling at her. Yes, sir. And will you give her these? Yes, sir. Wouldn't you like to come in, sir? They're having dinner, but you may wait in the hall. No, no, thank you. I want to drink in the street where she lives. I've often walked down this street before But the pavement always stayed beneath my feet before All at once am I several stories high Knowing I'm on the street where you live Are there lilac trees in the heart of town? Can you hear a lark in any other part of town? Does enchantment pour out of every door? No, it's just on the street where you live. And now oh, the towering feeling just to know somehow you are near. Feeling 
that any second you may suddenly appear. People stop and stare, they don't bother me, for there's nowhere else on earth that I would rather be. Let the time go by. Ah! 